you know, I've been hearing more and more about a thing called fake news. Fake, fake news. I've seen people destroyed, and I think it's very unfair. Hello, and thank you for joining us on the Scorcher Report, news that burns. I'm Rich Gary. And I'm Pedro Santa Cruz. It's May 3rd, and we're coming to you live from our studio in downtown Tucson. Or, we're not live. Live? I don't think so. Not live. I don't know if these cameras are on. We don't know what's but going on. But let's get started with some local news. The Arizona Department of Forestry and Fire Management enacted stage two fire restrictions for all of southern Arizona managed lands. There are many restrictions, including no campfires, no smoking, no discharging a firearm unless you have a lawful hunting license, no fireworks, and no torches. In addition, no chainsaw use is allowed between the hours of 9 a.m. and 8 p.m. So if you're a psycho killer from a slasher film, please continue to murder in the appropriate late evening and early morning hours to maintain proper fire safety. Yes, listen to Smokey Bear. He knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's talking about, guys. Pima Animal Care Center is having an adoption sale in honor of National Adopt a Shelter Pet Day. For just $15 adoption fee and an $18 license fee, you can adopt any pet over six months old. Wow, what a deal. It's crazy. I wonder if they have any Greyhound pups. For a $15 adoption fee and an $18 license fee and a $15 entry fee into the third race down at the track, I could clean up. Fingers crossed they have a Greyhound. I'll name him Pedro El Perro, <laughs> which for those of you who don't know Spanish means Peter the Perro. <laughs> you like that one, huh? Yeah. Arizona educators held out their strike for the sixth straight day this week to advocate for higher pay for teachers and support staff and a billion dollars in new education funding. Teachers say that they don't trust Governor Doug Ducey after he announced on Twitter that he offered a deal that would give teachers a 20% pay increase, among other perks. Sounds okay, but Ducey said that teachers will only receive the pay raise after completing 12 years of school passing a dizzying number of standardized tests and losing their virginity in the boys' bathroom stall. That doesn't sound too complicated. Just get those things done. The state of Arizona settled a lawsuit with Volkswagen for $40 million following relevations that, I'm sorry, revelations that VW misled officials over its clean diesel technology, which violated U.S. emission standards. Attorney General Mark Burnvich said that $20 million from the settlement will be set aside for education. He said that if the state can just keep suing car companies, then maybe they can find a way to pay its teachers. Oh, geez, Louise. Okay, I'm being told, yes, that our new CEO, Ruben Studdard, hold on, hold on, yes. Our new CEO, Ruben Studdard, would like to have a powwow with us. Seriously? <sighs> Does he not know that we're hosting a show right now? Hey, whatever eats up the clock. Ah, oh, jeez. Hey, boys. You're looking slovenly as usual. OK, thanks. Look, Ruben, you need to stop. Hey, I just learned the word slovenly. It means you're gross. Yeah, I know what slovenly means, OK? I didn't. I learned it from a popsicle stick that I yanked from the strippers. All right, all right, that's it. What, what do you want, Ruben? Oh, uh, you know, just hanging out. We're filming a show right now. This is, not, this is not really a good time. Yeah, I know. How come you never have me on? Are you embarrassed by me? You're embarrassed by me, aren't you? Pretty much. No, 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 no. We're not embarrassed by you. Um, no. I'm no. sorry. Like, I didn't realize uh, you wanted to be on the show. Like, I figured you thought our show was stupid. Uh, I mean, do, when do you want to come on? <laughs> of course I don't want to be on your dumb show. I mean, look at this office. Look at this office. You think I'd want to come over there? Yeah, I noticed your office got a lot bigger. How did that happen? Well, let's see. I exchanged money for services, which included a complete redesign of my office. See, I know you don't understand how money works because you don't have any, but... Well, 
where did the money come from? Hard work, determination, an ATM in Brandon's office. Do you believe he had a personal ATM? But you can't just take his money. Why? He's dead. What's he gonna do, take it with him? Hmm. Can we come over there? No, look, I need you to go harder with the products. Hard like. Okay, okay, look, we get it, okay, we get it. We know, like, we're, we're trying our hardest with your products, but dude, like, Ruben, sir, they're not good. Not good? What about my chocolate-flavored puke, or my puke-flavored chocolate, or my tuberculosis in a bag, or my new game? Good news, bad news. No good? You're no good. You're no good. You know, we haven't been paid since you got here. At least Brendan paid us in candy bars. And cigarettes. We have to get paid, Ruben. You know, I had to eat wallpaper glue last night for dinner. Do you realize that? Oh, stop. I eat wallpaper glue every night, and I'm grateful. You two need to quit belly aching, get this fake news, and endorse my products, or else. Or else, or else what, or else what? Or I'm taking your phones. You can't do that. Hey, don't blow it for us. Oh, but I can. You should have read your contracts. You know we can only read teleprompters. Wait, teleprompters? Wait, what? We can only read teleprompters. It says teleprompter. Teleprompter. Come on, teleprompter. can you read? We can only read teleprompter. OK, look, I won't take your phones if you can give me a little sauce. Ha, you sound not like that Vanilla guy. What a tool. Wait, so you've seen him? Yeah, he was snooping around here last week. What'd he say? I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> a special investigator came in here and you don't know what, you don't remember what he said? No. I've been saying we need to lock the door to the studio. Okay, I gotta go. Be better. Jeez Louise. That guy's sounding more and more like Brendan every day. I hate to say it, but I kind of miss Brendan. Who? Brendan. <sighs> Screw it. Let's get back to the news. Uh, we're gonna start with national and international news. Uh, President Trump's former personal physician, Dr. Harold Bornstein, claims that Trump dedicated a 2015 letter praising the president's health. Bornstein made the claim days after he said that Trump's associates raided his office in February 2017 and seized medical records on Trump. The White House said it was not a raid and that it's standard operating procedure to hire three goons to kick in a doctor's door, steal documents, shoot the dog, and urinate on the rug. Why did they shoot the dog when they could have put him on the track? They were cat people. What a waste. Vice President Mike Pence campaigned for former Maricopa County Sheriff and Senate candidate Joe Arpaio this week, calling Arpaio a, quote, champion of the rule of law. Arpaio was found guilty of criminal contempt in 2016 and sentenced to six months in prison, but had his conviction pardoned by the president. Arpaio now claims that his conviction should be overturned because Judge Susan Bolton refused to give the sheriff a, pro sheriff a proper trial by jury. Pence supported Arpaio Arpaio's attempt to have his conviction completely overturned because he doesn't believe women can serve as judges. In related news, Oxford University released a study this week finding that the rule of law is the least cool thing to be a champion of. I don't buy into those studies sometimes, but the rule of law is quite boring, which is why I don't follow it. Mm -hmm. How about is, you? Which is why you dropped out of college. Me? I, I don't know what's going on. All right. Michael Cohen was hit with a $282,000 tax bill in the state of New York. Uh, Cohen claims that the bill is a violation of Americans, uh, of all Americans, because this could pay for over two sexual harassment settlements for the president. So it's not enough money is what they're saying. It's not enough. It'll never be enough. 
John Kelly reportedly said on multiple occasions that women are more emotional than men, according to an NBC report. Kelly went on to claim women frequently have tantrums, then quickly, quickly excused himself and repeatedly claimed that he meant tantrums. Tantrum. Not tan tan Trumps. Ty Cobb announced yesterday that he is leaving presidential, President Trump's legal team and will retire immediately. Cobb was part of a team of lawyers that are defending Trump against Robert Mueller's investigation into Russian collusion. Cobb will reportedly go back to his former career, career in real estate. And here I was thinking that he was a deceased baseball player. I thought he was. <laughs> Isn't it? His, his card is worth a lot of money, I believe. Uh, you know, he was a pitcher and he was a really great hitter. I did not know that. Just totally shifting gears. The White House revised a public statement that said that Iran has nuclear weapons, even though international nuclear inspectors deny this. The original statement read that Iran had nuclear weapons. The White House says they didn't mean to change had to has and blamed it on incoming jokes or Secretary of State Mike Pompeo who played the old switcheroo on the S and the D. <laughs> old switcheroo. Switch Personally, them up. Switch I don't play them up. The, the switcheroo on the D, if you know what I mean, but. Oh, I do know what you mean, Pedro. I know all too well what you mean. Ruben is busted. Hold on a second. I'm being told Special Investigator Robert Vanilla is getting ready to raid our offices yeah, he's getting ready to raid the off. He's getting ready to raid the office of our boss, Ruben Stuttered. Oh, this should be good. Okay, hold on. We're gonna go live to the raid. Uh, Vania enters the scene. Uh, looks like Ruben is counting money. Ruben Stuttered, I presume. Who's asking? It's Vanilla. 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 I knew you'd come. Well then, I suppose you know why I'm here. Look, I've told the authorities I don't know what happened to her. No, what? No. I have evidence that you created a hostile workplace and you can't leave the dames alone. A real whack job you are. A no good Crackpot whack job. Oh, yeah, whacka whacka, yep. What evidence you got on me? Well, pretty much every time you've appeared on the show, I've received dozens of complaints. Dozens, I say. Ha! Complaints. And I have reason to believe you've been stealing money from Mr. Tetro's personal ATM machine. Here. I don't want any of your dirty lucre. Benia doesn't do dirty money, Studert. Turn yourself in, rat fink. What if I told you that I know your secret? I'd say you've got the credibility of a dime store hood. You're not really special investigator Robert Vanilla, are you? Whatever do you mean? I mean, I know the truth. Regular investigator Robert Vanilla. You're not special. But I am special. Show me your badge. Well, well, I, I, I left it at home. How convenient. Eh. Well, Mr. Sudert, you'll be happy to know that I've decided to drown the rat in pea soup. To shut the good book. I don't read books. I'm closing your case. Oh, well, that's a relief. Hey, I like your style. I know you're not special or anything, but uh, you want to go into business together? I'd like that. What's the salary? Whatever I can pull out of this ATM. Works for me. Uh, when do I start? Um, right now. All right, boys. 
me and the vanilla man are going to start our own thing, and you guys are on your own. So uh, good luck, and, and keep doing whatever it is that you guys do. Well, that was weird. Wow. Maybe Oof. we should start our own business. Maybe we could start our own business, but we're definitely on our own now. Cool. I'm okay with it. I feel free. It. Yeah, you better let me make the decisions, all right? Okay. Sounds good. The Department of Justice filed charges against 11 members of the caravan of people from Central America seeking asylum in the U.S. Around 200 Central Americans arrived at the U.S.-Mexico border, but were unable to enter the country. Border Patrol was not able to process any of the arrivals, mostly because they expected a Dodge caravan with five, maybe six people tops. In a press release, the Border Patrol announced that it learned a new word, caravan. caravan. Reportedly, the Border Patrol told the caravan members that there was no room at the inn, then directed them to a nearby barn where they could sleep in a manger. See, I think their first mistake was a caravan. They need to go with a Chevy Astro van. Oh, Chevy Astro van, that's right. You, know, mean, you can live in one of those things, really. Uh, I, I like how we, they were playing on the Jesus, Jesus aspect mm. in that joke. That was nice. Because they're Mexican? Two thumbs up to our writing team. <laughs> Florida Senator Marco Rubio said that there was no evidence that the corporate tax cuts passed last year are benefiting workers, even though he voted for the bill. Rubio said that Washington is broken and criticized do-nothing politicians like uh, Marco Rubio. That's some interesting criticism. It takes one to know one. It takes one to know one. That's, oh, dude, you have, a way, you have a way with words, sir. I do. Kansas voted to allow bars and restaurants to serve alcoholic drinks beginning as early as 6 a.m. for the entire state. The bill was passed by the Republican-led legislature, and a passage of the bill was immediately criticized by Democrats, who claimed that the Republicans are just tr chasing the drunk uncle vote. According to a recent poll, the law is supported by this guy. Whew. Party it up in Kansas time. Jay Hawken. Getting hella drunk out there. The FDA and the Federal Trade Commission are cracking down on e-cigarette liquid that resembles family-friendly products. They aim to crack down at products like One Mad Hit Juice Box, uh, Vanilla Cookies and Milk, and Baby's First Cloud. My personal favorite is I Can't Believe It's Not Mommy's Booby. Oh, uh, yes. Those seem like they're marketed for children. Or babies. <laughs> Oh, baby. President Trump found himself in a spat with the Paralympics after he said in a speech that the games are, quote, tough to watch. Trump redeemed himself when he said, but to be fair, you could say the same thing about my speeches. All right, Pedro, now it's time for us to check in with our weather person, Kim Sunny Burnham, for the five-day Tucson forecast. Sunny, all yours. Oh, wait, it's over there. Kim. Oh, it's that way. Oh, there she is. Kim, tell us about the weather. Look, Pedro, I bought new shoes. They match my shirt. I bought them for you, Pedro. OK, all right, sorry. OK, I'm ready. Hey, Tucson, it's Kim, Sunny Burnham. And today, with your Tucson five-day forecast, Brought to you by the book, Robert Vanella is a Dirty Liar, by our own Reuben Studdard. How exciting! Now I wish I'd learned to read. I guess I'll have to wait till the ebook comes out. Well, anyways, today is Cinco de Mayo, minus dos. So it's May 3rd. Today's color of the week is red. It's red for Ed. See my beads? When I think of Ed, I think of my precious Pedro, because Ed is in Pedro. So it's red for Pedro. Hi, Pedro. OK, get ready, Tucson, because Friday is going to be the last nice day that you're going to have for a while. So get it well and getting good. 
And if it means dry humping a statue in the park or just plain passing out in the park, well, so be it. Mid 90s and lots of sun. What else could you ask for? Well, besides a driver's license. On Saturday, it's gonna start heating again. Heating up like the delivery guy after a few vodka tonics that are mostly vodka. Well, we're gonna see temps in the high 90s. That's just below 100, like my credit score. Hopefully, Beelzebub doesn't also visit you in your sleep on Sunday because we're getting into scorcher mode, as that means it's getting over the hundreds. Scorcher, right, Pedro? He never pays attention to me anymore. Anyways, I wonder if Ruben's single. I'd like one of those Ruben sandwiches. 100 plus degrees temps will hit us Monday through Wednesday. And, whoa, what is that sound I hear? You know what that is? That's the sound of snowbirds packing up. And you know what that means? It's time to burglarize some snowbirds. So get your crowbar, your black mast, your non-slip shoes, not these ones, because it's gonna be a fun summer. Everyone remember to drink lots of water next week so you don't shrivel up like my dreams. If you're dehydrated, you might even lose a kidney, which contrary to what I've been told, is not a reward for vict vir virtuous behavior. Anyways, I can still feel its presence. It's like a phantom kidney. Okay, that's your five-day forecast. Hot, sunny, oppressive, long, Reuben. I mean, lubing. I mean, use lots of lube. I, I mean, sunscreen. And have a great week, Tucson. Hey, thanks a lot, Kim. All right, now on to some entertainment news. That's what I'm going to do for entertainment news now. Entertainment news. Uh, <laughs> let's try not for, to forget for next week. Federal officials lost track of nearly 1,500, 1500 unaccompanied migrant children after they were placed in the homes of adult sponsors. The story will be adapted into a family comedy starring comedian Kevin James called Who Am I Kidding? That sounds terrible like all of his programs. Mm -hmm. They're terrible, but Kevin James just keeps making movies. <laughs> yes, it's funny, but only to think about, not the actual show. Yeah. <laughs> As my holiday season approaches, and of course I mean horse racing's triple crown season, I want to wish you all a merry, festive time of gambling and excitement as the Kentucky Derby starts this weekend. Now, I've scouted the ponies, but I'm not going to kiss and tell you who I'm laying the big money on or which 50 to 1 horse to throw a Hamilton on just for shits and kicks, but with names like Mendelssohn, My Boy Jack, and Free Drop Billy, any horse you bet on this weekend is a winner in my book. Just remember, when you have a hunch, Stick with it. Or do the complete opposite. <laughs> oh, man. Who are you taking the, this month? Who are you, who are you taking? Who's, who's the top um, one? Who's the I horse to you, look for? The odds change immediately. All right. My, we, my reach is so wide and so I'm so famous that it will change the, the gambling odds. So I can't, I can't tell. I'm putting my money on Mendelssohn. I don't know why. Just He seems like a strong horse. No comment. All right, former Baywatch star Pamela Anderson has reportedly been spending time with WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. Anderson refused to respond to questions whether she's currently in a relationship with Assange, who has been stuck inside the Ecuadorian embassy under asylum for the past six years. After marrying Tommy Lee, Kid Rock, and starring in a barbed wire, this caps off three decades of great decision making for Pamela Anderson. Those close to Assange say he has suffered from mental decline since being stuck in the embassy and has neglected his hygiene. But the source says he still smells better than Tommy Lee. Who doesn't? Tommy Lee slam. And for those of you who don't know, Ecuador translates to equator. That's right. That's right. Fun well, facts. This has been the Scorcher Report. I've been Rich Gary. Thank you for watching. And I'm Pedro Santa Cruz. That's Pedro Santa Cruz. 
Uh, I'm very excited today. I'm very excited to announce that uh, Creative Tucson. We're not supposed to read that. Can we take Creative it Creative Tucson top? is awesome. <laughs> Please like, share. It's so awesome, do guys. Do other things with this video. Like. I don't know if you were doing that again. But yeah. You're going to see it before it happens anyway. So yeah. There's yeah. No it, there's no. It. Okay. There's no point in saying it. But then I forgot that I wasn't going to say it, and then I said yeah. it. Yeah. Remember to like, share, and subscribe on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. If you've got a hot MySpace, news tip for us, swipe right on our Tinder. Good for you. Stay creative, Tucson. Stay creative, Tucson. You know, I've been hearing more and more about a thing called fake news. Yeah, I know. How come you never have me on? Are you embarrassed by me? Are you embarrassed by me? Aren't you, Pedro? Enthusiastically nods. That is not what I... <laughs> no. Look, I need you to go harder with the products. Hard like. <sighs> okay, okay. It's coming, is it? <laughs> it's falling through my legs. Is this a problem? Is it okay? Or do I hold it like this? Just put it back on. Okay. I don't know how to because it's going to fall out like a baby. <laughs> and I killed Tetro. It was me. I killed Story him. after story, we're not going to let it happen again. The public gets, when I go to rallies, they want to throw their placards to CNN.